Hey everybody. So, Ruby and Kim went rock hounding, and uh, they went to Montana and they brought me back a little gift. And what they brought me is really cool. Now, to the untrained eye, it just might look like a boring old green rock. But in fact, it's not. See those little flashes and sparks in there? This, ladies and gentlemen, this is Epidote. And it is a beautiful stone. We're going to have some fun. This stuff's a little weather-worn and a little decayed. But man, they're, they're just beautiful specimen pieces. But we are going to try to cab one. Look at all those crystals. Isn't that amazing epidote? I'm a pretty lucky rock dad. So, we need to pick a rock. We got some candidates here. Maybe a couple of the less exciting pieces. how gorgeous that is. And there could be garnets in there and all sorts of stuff. Let's do this one. This one needs to have something done that's worthy of it. So, stick with me. We're going to do something fun. My water's a little dirty tonight. We were working with it earlier. But, we got our 80 grit wheel here on our Titan Cab King. Correction, our Titan grinder, not a Cab King. However, Cab King, if you're watching, you want to send me a new grinder, I would most assuredly love it. And we're going to carve this epidote and start shaping it. Nice and gentle. Keeping it moving, keeping lots of water. And getting that face done. Let's bring this face. So they went to Montana and they went rock counting. And they found all this beautiful epidote and they brought me back some pieces. So we're going to build a little freeform cabochon out of it. What do you think? See if it all holds together here. Ah. We're using our 80 grit to knock off the rough parts. Those fracture points off. I'm not pushing hard, I'm just letting the wheel honestly do the work. It might look like it, but I'm really not. The wheel does the work. So we're getting a nice edge here going. We got all this rough, crumbly stuff coming off here. So we got to do something about that. So let's go ahead and skin it. To do that, we're just going to. Slowly bring her back and forth. So this is unstabilized. Alright, there's our nice 80 grit. Take the back off of it here. Now see how this stuff looks cab. 
It might be better as a display specimen. It might be better as cab specimen. We're going to find out. All right. So we got our shape here. That's a pretty cool little shape. What do you say we kick it up a notch? So I'm going to do... I'm going to take this, I'm going to level it up so the point straighten at me. I'm going to bring it back and forth across the wheel. I'm going to bring it to a level point. I'm going to rotate it. I want that center ridge right there. And it looks like this stone might be better faceted. For angles and reflection than anything else. We're going to find out. 80 is a little aggressive, but we're going to bring that in on that side. We're going to bring that in on that side. Flip it, true it up on this side. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the 100 now. Normally you can skip this step, but with a stone like this, which is badly sun weathered as this piece is, it's a good idea to just bring her down slow. going there. We're going to bring, round that off a little more. We're going to bring her down here. Down to the next wheel. Time the stone's gonna slowly get a little smaller. We take just a little bit more off of it. those edges, it'll flake. Gotta bring them down. Alright. So, look how pretty that is. Getting some of that epidote sparkle in there. Got a few little pits. That's just the material. But look at that flash in there. All right, let's go down here to a polishing mills. All right, you see all the wheels? So here we go. So this is where the magic happens. These first few wheels right here really make a difference. 
longer you take on these, the better your results. The line in it's from uh, one of my kids doing garnets. There's a little clear piece of something crystal in the, the kit of this. Woo! Dropped it. This is safe. I can touch it. You still want to respect it. show it to you after this one here. work for those of you that are still with us and haven't done the traditional skip ahead in YouTube thank you for your patronage and watching we hope you've enjoyed the rock dad he's brought to you by insomnia that's right insomnia for those that can't sleep at night and by the letter R for rock and the letter W for wow. All right. So the last wheel that we'll go to in a minute is a beast. Okay. There we go. The little scratch right there, you see it? No, you don't. Last wheel. Fifty thousand grit. That's right, folks. Fifty thousand. That's a five and a lot of zeros. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Ruby. This stuff is amazing. Oh, I want to go collect a bunch of it. This is just absolutely stunning material. Get right there, but... All right, what do y'all think? Leave a comment if you've made it this far. 
I love to read. I love to hear what you have to think, what you have to say. And I appreciate your support. But yeah. This is a little green frog art. Rock that out. Catch you on the flip side.